So, I mean, it's been going on for a while, but it's looking like Calvin Ridley wants out and we should want him in a Philadelphia Eagles uniform. And I'll explain why, y'all. Yo, that! A-G-L-E-S. Say fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. <laughs>
So you got Quez Watkins. I like Quez Watkins a lot. I think he needs, needs to develop some more. And I also do think that they need to use him better than they have been. And Rhaegar, we already know what's going on with that. I'm not even going, I'm not even going to bring that to the table right now. But if you put in a Calvin Ridley in this situation, everybody gets better. The wide receivers, the quarterbacks, the play calling, everything gets better day one. Because this guy is a number one. And then him and Devontae Smith can figure it out after that. So, man, I, I've i been saying we needed a, 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 a veteran wide receiver since last year. I was saying it last year. Nobody was listening. You need a veteran wide receiver, and this is why probably why we got bounced out of the first one of the reasons why we got bounced out of the first round. You need a veteran wide receiver if you only have young talent. Your oldest wide receiver can't be a guy in Greg Ward. It can't be. And if you come into this year with the same roster, it's going to be, I ain't going to say the same thing because Devontae Smith will be a year older. Quez Watkins will be a year older. And finally, and hopefully, I ain't even going to say JR, man. Ho hopefully, Rhaegar can figure it out. I don't know. Or, or you trade him or whatever the case may be. But you need a veteran wide receiver. For real, for real. So, if I'm home, man, I'm not... If, if, if I'm the Philadelphia Eagles organization, I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to find a way to go get this dude, but I'm not spending no more than a second-round pick for him. Let me know what y'all think about that. Real fast before I get out of here, I got to talk about this Sixers situation. To me, Ben Simmons, he is selfish. He's selfish. You see your guy that you went to war with for three to four years go out there and this is having an immaculate season and you're holding the organization back because either you don't want to be traded or you want to be traded but you don't want to go here you don't want this and they don't want whatever the case may be so you were willing to sit out a whole year because he can't come back you can't let the guys that's on the roster right now fighting every single day in the eyes and say all right y'all let's go ball and I don't think he's man enough to do that. And I don't think, and I don't touch on these mental issues or whatever the case may be, but to me, I don't think that 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 that, that that's it. So, man, like, they got to do something. Doc Rivers, um, um, the, the, the rest of the staff, y'all got to find a way to do something to get MB some help. Sacramento denied a trade a port, a reportedly, but you got to figure it out. You really got to figure it out because this dude, and it's crazy that when we look on social media, when, when when we watch ESPNs, we don't hear. I mean, you you hear from guys like um a, a running back nation. You hear from guys. You hear from guys like um um my guy Philly Mike Philly Talk podcast. You know what I mean? You hear from those guys, but you don't hear it from the national media how dominant Embiid has been. You know what you hear? They spelled J uh, uh, Julius Irvin name wrong. You know what you hear? Oh, Sacramento denied a trade. That's what you hear. And then you go on and you turn on um, uh, Undisputed, and they talk about and, uh, 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 Anthony Davis dominated and beat. No, he didn't. He could have more points than him, but did he have more assists? Did he have more rebounds? Did he have uh, uh, more free throws? No, he didn't. So to me, man, you got to find a way to get out of this because you're not going to be able to do nothing with the roster currently constructed. Not going to lie to you. Let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all already know, man. Stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that.